o'clock tonight. Yes, it has been one week since that tragedy at the mall in Columbia, where three people ended up dead including two employees at the mall. And today, the member, many people who were at the mall paused once again to remember those victims. Hatsavela joins us from the mall with more on how a community is trying to heal after this tragedy. Hatsu. Kenda's healing is exactly why people came out to the mall today. And I can tell you many who left the mall left wearing this white ribbon as a way to remember the lives lost. Briefly, a bustling mall went quiet. The ruffling sound from shopping bags stopped. People stood silently, remembering the victims from the shooting exactly a week ago. It's been a very long week. You may remember Laura McGindles. We met her last Saturday, shortly after she had left the mall. I've never been so scared in my life. She was working at a kiosk inside when she heard gunshots, followed by people running and screaming. Slowly but surely getting back to normal, but it's going to take a while. So tough, she has not been able to walk by the store where it happened. Today, mall patrons were allowed to leave condolences behind for the families of the victims. 21-year-old Brianna Benlolo of College Park and 25-year-old Tyler Johnson of Ellicott City. Both worked at the skateboard shop called Zoomies. They were so young and just starting out in life and, um, you know, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. We saw it on the news and we only live about 20 minutes away from here, so we were literally, we come here all the time. It was just crazy. Sarah Thomas lives in Germany, but comes to Colombia to visit her paternal grandparents. She's been to the mall since she was a little girl. It's sad, and you can tell that it's not as crowded as it usually is. So people have really been affected by the fact that there was a shooting here. In addition to the moment of silence and the condolence wall, people were allowed to leave flowers at a mall fountain. I think people realize, like, Life is too short to um, go around the world angry at people. Late this afternoon, a skating event held at nearby Centennial Park held again to honor those two victims lost in this senseless shooting. Reporting live in Columbia, Maryland, Hatsovella, ABC 7 News. All right.